The Special Olympics Summer Games are around the corner and they have support of local law enforcement. Haiti Clotter shows us the passing of the torch from Bemidji to Pequot Lakes. The Special Olympics Minnesota Summer Games take place this weekend and keeping up with tradition before the start of the games there's a torch run. Local law enforcement participated in support of the Bemidji Special Olympics team and also held a fundraiser. I think it's a, a huge deal for them. I, I know they appreciate us being here from um, from talking with some of the, some of the athletes and, and the people that help run it. The Bemidji Special Olympics team has been around for many years. It gives athletes hope and the ability to participate in sports like running, basketball, and powerlifting. We have over 100 athletes um, and probably twice as many volunteers and unified partners that participate in different sports throughout the season, throughout the year. This was the first time the torch run was held in Bemidji. For athletes like Renee Miller, she's been a part of the Special Olympics for 25 years. The Special Olympics make her feel appreciated. I get to compete with friends that are similar disabilities and I have lots of fun. The run starts near Paul and Babe, goes through Cass Lake and will end in Pequot Lakes. That's a total of more than 60 miles. Some of the people are only going to run for the first uh, mile or so. Um, some people are only going to stay till Cass Lake and then there's I think seven or eight of us that are going to do the whole route down to Pequot Lakes. Bradley Olson says the Special Olympics is a good cause and a way for him to spend time with friends and become involved with the community, something he's done since the 1990s. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt is the Special Olympics oath, and that about says it all. A state trooper and SWAT bus followed the runners, and updates were given through a Facebook page so anyone could follow along. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The torch run continues on Wednesday with Shakopee and the summer games begin on Thursday until Saturday in Apple Valley. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.